Volkswagen Beetle is a name that everyone knows, and the people's car has been loved by the people for more than seven decades. Just about every person has a story to tell about the Beetle, from getting the punch buggy in the arm as a kid, push starting it after a breakdown, or even transporting a piano in it. Just ask my nana. And while there have been many iterations of the bug over the years, there's a new classic edition that essentially bids farewell to the modern day Beetle models that have come before it in Australia. So what better way to see how much has changed than by putting an original old school bug, like my pride and joy, up against its contemporary representative. <laughs> This beetle here was made in 1965, back when it wasn't even compulsory to wear a seat belt. It was built just around the corner at the Clayton factory in Victoria and would have cost around $1,700 new. There's even a nice Aussie touch underneath the petrol cap. And this specific Beetle Classic is one special car. Referencing the year of importation of the Beetle to Australia, only 53 of the final edition were produced. And this is number 53, which means it's the very last Beetle in the country ever. What a piece of history. Volkswagen have taken inspiration from the original Beetle to make this one as classic as possible. Noticeable similarities are the wheels that replicate hubcaps, also the chrome side mirrors and the side chrome running strips. Even the Volkswagen badge on the boot is very retro. As with most old Volkswagens, the engine can be found in the back, but in the Beetle Classic, it can be found in the front. Both came from the factory with small engines. The old bug had a 1200cc engine with approximately 22 kilowatts of power and 70 newton meters of torque, where the new Beetle has a 1.4 litre twin charged, both turbocharged and supercharged, with 118 kilowatts of power and 240 newton meters of torque. Fun fact this one doesn't even have a radiator because it's air cooled. The seats in this 1965 Beetle are vinyl. They're very basic and, well, they're unsafe. And life was pretty basic too. Check this out. A driver's side armrest was never installed, only on the passenger side. Storage in the front, well, there really isn't any, apart from a roomy glove box. Behind the back seat, there's just enough room for a backpack. Just like in the original, the dash in the new one is matched with the exterior colour, which is pretty cool. And it's got the good old fashioned handbrake. The red cloth trim seats are an interesting colour mix, but they are very comfy. Overall, this car is much safer. It's got airbags, ABS, blind spot monitor, oh, and seat belts in the back. Plus, there's plenty of room for luggage too, a whole 310 litres of it, which is about 300 more than the old Beetle. But before we drive the new one, let's take a stroll down memory lane. You can't mistake that DAC DAC engine sound. And while this upgraded 1600cc engine isn't super fast, they have been known to go all day long. With the four-speed manual gearbox, the little car likes to sit on around 90 kilometres per hour. But anything faster, it starts to get a little bit loud in here. The ride is surprisingly good because there's just a petrol tank and a spare wheel up front, so there's no power steering. Nipping around corners is pretty easy. Obviously, there's no infotainment, and back then, a radio was an option. I installed this one for those long road trips. There's knobs that don't even have any labels on them, and the high beam switch is located on the floor. The air conditioner, well, it's operated like this, and you get the toasty warmth of the heater directly from the engine. Well, as you can probably hear, it's much quieter in here. The Beetle Classic is a, a back-to-basics car, so there's really no options. There's a few blank buttons here and there uh, throughout the interior. You do get a few luxuries though, like an air conditioner, uh, Bluetooth, and uh, even reversing camera. But like the old days of using maps, there's no satellite navigation. There's a spot for your phone under the centre armrest and a bonus of two glove boxes. The Beetle Classic doesn't come with a manual option. Instead, you get the seven-speed DSG automatic and you can even engage sport mode. 
The beetle is quick off the line to the point where you may get the front tyres to squeal. But like the beetle of old, the response is a little bit slow when you choose to overtake, for example. This beetle weighs 1.3 tonne, which is 549 kilograms heavier than the old beetle. It's bigger all round too, uh, but the ground clearance isn't as big, which is evident when you go over a driveway, the underbelly scuffs. It's a comfortable ride and the car doesn't crash over the bumps too much. There is a small amount of tyre roar, but the engine noise remains pretty quiet in the cabin. And here's something fun, the number 53, while it officially denotes the year that the beetle first came to Australia, it's also the same number of the world's most famous beetle, Herbie. The Beetle Classic is $36,990 plus on-road costs, which makes it about $5,500 more than the entry-level Beetle. But I think it's worth every cent because of its limited number run. It just shows you don't need every option in a car to have as much fun as what I've had in this. It's basic and I love it for that. The Volkswagen Beetle is so iconic that it is one of the best-selling cars of all time. Through its bug eyes, it has seen World War II, Beetlemania, the hippie era and the Berlin War. But more importantly, it was there for you when you learnt to drive, your first kiss and the unforgettable baby run to the hospital. While the history books have closed on the bug in Australia, these memories will be etched into the minds of many for generations to come.